I am making this video because I could not find one on YouTube to help me print like this. So today I will show you how to print a PDF like this which has single pages like this but we need to print it like this okay so the first page here is showing chapter 10 and this is the second page so this is total of 31 pages so now we will press ctrl p and then we will get the print dialog box here you need to select the your printer's name and then go to properties here you you can see the several presets that are done from epson you will get the presets that is given from your printers so you need to see, select this one document to up and then you have to select the page a4 orientation portrait color we want the printing to be done on both side of the paper so two sided printing this is long edge binding just give this option and follow me you will be all right this is two up if you need four pages uh, on done on one page you keep four the, here you can see the preview but i don't need that right now so i will give two up and then uh, copies of one now this option print preview this is a lifesaver tick mark on this one print preview and then press ok now you can see that uh, the adobe, uh, adobe reader uh, the adobe acrobat reader is showing the, the print preview like this which is not we have selected but we have given the print preview option a check so now we will give the print even though the print preview is not right on adobe acrobat so press on print now epson is epson will show the actual print preview of how the pages will be printed here you can see this is the chapter name and this is the first page this is the second page and here you can see that these are the options so this will be the first side of the first page and this will be second side of the first page so these two combines one page so now if we give print the printing will start the printing is going on do not take the page off right now let it be where it is let it be don't touch it let all those pages print all of them by on their own So I will pause the video now but I won't touch anything here, it will go automatically. Now the one side of the pages have been done, see this one is blank but this one is done. I haven't touched anything, all the papers are here. Now there is a dialog box on the laptop. This that shows us how to load the paper again. So just follow me, forget this instruction, just follow me. Just take all the pages as they were, all of them, fix them, take them and just put it like this. That's all you have to do. Just This was like this, you just have to do it like this. Okay. So now we will press resume and then printing will start again do not touch the pages right now let them be how they are This is very important. You cannot touch any paper while they are printing. Okay, I will pause the video now and 
continue when it's done now the printing is done i haven't touched any pages or anything now i will just take this all together and just flip it so as you can see this is our first page chapter 10 and second page with this same thing as here chapter 10 and and this cylinder here so we have perfectly printed all the pages up until here and also both sides so now you can staple them or do whatever you want with them but one thing to note is that when you press ctrl p but you don't get this important properties panel this one so what you need to do is you need to recheck if it's the printer that you have got i, I have got an epson uh, l series you need to select this option there will be uh, other options like fax microsoft print pdf or one not you don't have to select those just select your printer and after then press this properties option and even after selecting your printer you don't get this dialog box you need to download your printers dial uh, printers uh, driver from the internet you can just go to the internet and search like for myself it's it's on l3110 universal driver if you type that on google you will be uh, forwarded to a page where you can download the driver and then install it then you will get this important dialog box and always remember about this print preview this is the lifesaver so thank you for watching hope it helps you thank you